Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we're on site testing a machine that has uh, three or four different functions in it. Now, it's a TIG machine, so that's why it's on the show. But because it's already on the show, we're going to go ahead and test it out. We're going to see if it'll do MIG uh, as well as stick welding. Those aren't my, uh, my greatest... Uh, uh, attributes in life. So this machine is somewhat computerized. It's supposed to be fail safe and you go to the front screen and hit all the buttons as it tells you to and uh, we're going to see if the settings are accurate. Uh, I'm a novice at MIG and stick so uh, let, let's see if it works accurately. Now the other thing I'd like to do is you know we're in a, a community called Punta Gorda and uh, I want to do a shout out to a couple of people. Uh, first of all we bring all this equipment here and uh, we get some suppliers in the area to cooperate and give us gases. Uh, so I uh, want to do a shout out to this company right here, Crumpton Welding Supply. So thanks guys, we appreciate it. Okay, now what I'm going to do first here, uh, we've already done the part on, on TIG welding. So I want to take this machine and literally sit down and go through it and start hitting the buttons as it tells me how to set a couple of different thicknesses. Now I'm, I'm on I'm on 115 volts here, and in most aircraft hangers, that's all you've got. Out in the field, that's all you've got. So let's see exactly how thick of material and how accurate the settings are in this. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do between 16 and 18 gauge material, and I'm also going to do, uh, I've got some eighth inch thick material. So let me get my gear on and uh, sit down and go through this, and I'll do two different tests for you. Okay, now I've, I've pre-tacked some 16 gauge steel here. I think it's 16 gauge and I've got it in a lap weld form. So, you know, when you put two metals together like that, you're gonna have a little bit of mass. Uh, so I don't know exactly how to set this machine. This will be uh, basically my second time of turning it on. So I turn the machine on and it, it goes through a series of events here. Okay, it, uh, it, it's got some settings here already. Uh, you can manually change this after it's automatically set for you as well, so if you want to fine tune it. But it, you know, it says here, you know, press to select the process, and you know, we're here in the MIG, and we're welding steel, and you'll see it says C25. Now what that is, is that is a gas mix that's, that's different. It's got 75% uh, argon, 25% CO2, or a MIG mix. So they call it C25. Anyway, when you have that on there, make sure that you don't run 100% argon because you were set up previously with TIG welding and that's what we use. So just know that there's a special gas mix for that. So it says press to select. I press the button. It uh, it tells me if I've got this machine set up correctly. Here's my, uh, here's my ground, and I'm looking at it. Everything looks normal. Okay, now the wire diameter that I put in there came with the machine. It's 025 uh, diameter, so you can see there's three different sizes here. I go to the 025, hit the button. Now it's asking me what thickness. So, I don't know, I think rather than put 16 gauge, I'm probably going to want to go a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go 14 gauge only because I've placed two metals together. So 14 gauge, press to start, and voila, comes up and it says you're going to run this at 260 inches a minute, 17 volts. Um, it's telling me all the settings, the gases, MIG steel, and it looks like it's ready to go. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my helmet on, get all my gear on and see if that's correct. Now, if I weld and, and I want to get more amperage or more voltage or more uh, wire speed, I can do that manually over here. So I don't have to be stuck you know, with this setting. But let's just see how close it is. Okay, now I've, I've set my gas at about 25 CFH and I uh, hit the button, I can hear it come out. Now this wire is going to come out live as soon as I pull the trigger. And, you know, there's several techniques in, in MIG welding. You can do little circles, you can do straight lines, and really got to look at it and see if you've got to bridge any gaps. Sometimes you do and you have to weave back and forth. So uh, again, I, I've got a decent fit up here, so I may just, uh, I may just weave just a little bit just to wet, wet the uh, puddle out. So uh, let's give it a shot. OK, 
okay, well, I, the setting is pretty close, and, uh, you know, for a fish out of water, uh, it, it, you know, it looks pretty decent. So this machine's actually making me look good. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go around the front. I'm going to try this machine on, uh, on eighth inch thick material, pretty heavy duty material, and uh, see how the settings are on it. Okay, well, again, I'm, I'm set up on 120 volts. I think the, uh, the circuit on this is probably a, probably a 15, maybe a 20 amp breaker, and that's about it. I've got an extension cord running to it. So I'm gonna get a little resistance build up, but I think I'm really gonna challenge this machine just by, uh, by welding on this thick of a material. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, it says MIG Steel C25, 120 volt, Tells me the, uh, the Argon CO2 mix. Keep pressing. O25 diameter filler material. And I'm gonna turn this gauge. The highest that it's gonna give me is 12 gauge. Okay, and, that, and that, that's okay. Uh, 12 gauge material is as thick as this allow me to go in the settings. Uh, so let's give it a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and press. It tells me that it's gonna give me uh, 330 inches a minute uh, wire speed, 18 volts. Um, so, let's give it a shot. Well, you know, now that I've uh, finished doing the MIG welding process, I, I didn't used to be able to even pronounce that word. Uh, but really, this machine, a lot of thought has gone into the programming of this, and it really is easy to program. Uh, I mean, i got to give it a thumbs up, guys. It's just that good. So uh, thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.